Put quite simply, Kenneth Lonergan's The Waverly Gallery is a play about the last couple of functioning years and the life of a Greenwich Village gallery owner as she battles advancing age and Alzheimer's disease. But it is so very much more. This revival, which was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for Drama in 2001, explores this feisty grandmother's fight to retain her independence and the subsequent effect of her decline on her family members. More than a memory play, the Waverly Gallery captures the humor and the strength and the difficulty of a family in the face of crisis. It stars the great comedian and writer Elaine May as the grandmother Gladys, and Tony Award winner and multiple Academy Award nominee Joan Allen as her daughter Ellen. And we're delighted to have Joan Allen joining us now. It's so nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So I have to start by saying we saw the, the play yesterday and, and it, was, it was fantastic. It was so powerful and so moving. And I saw you say that, that you're very picky about choosing plays. Mm -hmm. So understanding that pickiness and all the opportunities you have out there, what then drew you to this play? The writing itself seemed so real and, and um, believable. Kenneth's writing, Kenneth Lonergan's writing is that way. And my mother, um, in the last couple of years of her life, she catapulted really into dementia. It was a very fast overnight thing. And so I'd had some experience, you know, um, with the illness. And, um, and so I, I felt like I would know something about how to approach this role a little bit, having lived through, having lived through it. One of the reviews, and the reviews have been excellent, one of the reviews talked about you know, the, the, the great acting and the great writing. Mm -hmm. And they talked about you specifically, and they called you the heartbeat mm -hmm. of this because of where you were situated in, yeah. in, in this, this emotional maelstrom, if you will, of what's going on. Is, is that a, an, an accurate characterization, one that you would sort of embrace? I, I, I think so. Um, I think Ellen's, I, I, um, my character Ellen, she's also an only child, and so she has to take care of everything. And she is trying to manage her own life. She's a psychiatrist who you don't see that in the play, but she sees patients in the mornings and then she takes, you know, she cooks for people, her family, and she takes her mother to doctor's appointments. And she's, she's the fixer and the doer trying to figure things out. What sort of reaction have you received from people who have seen the play? It's marvelous. When I leave the theater, um, there are usually some people standing at the stage door and it's just, you know, people saying, thank you for raising awareness with this issue. Um, I just am going through it. I'm 10 years into it now with my mother. Um, my grandmother just died two years ago and my family was going through it for 15 years. I mean, the, the number of people who unfortunately this disease affects um, is, is really uh, kind of staggering. Everybody is connected in some way, shape or form yes. um, to this, the, the, the problems. Exactly. Of, of well, I have this, this, this phrase that, I don't know, I heard a long time ago that I, has helped me a lot, um, that a family is only as well as its sickest member. Mm -hmm. And so when there is a family member who has a major health issue, whatever kind it is, it is the headline, really. If you love, if you're a, a loving family and want, you know, and together and want to help and be with each other, it really, it takes over the room and it becomes the focus. And so I think, you know, Lucas Hedges, who so beautifully narrates and tells the story of his grandmother and his relationship with his grandmother, which is beautifully played and portrayed and written, you know, it's a wonderful way to do it, by Wonderful way yeah. to do it. To see this young man, you know, watching his grandmother go through it, watching his mother go through it, and his mother not always behaving the best way because it's a very frustrating, hard situation to deal with. You know, we're talking about serious issues here, mm -hmm. but it's surrounded with great humor yeah. on stage. Yeah, there's a There are so many laughs. Actually, but I, and right off the bat, yeah. you're laughing. Yeah. And I could tell some people were a little uncomfortable saying, is it okay for me to laugh? Yes at this, yeah. given the nature of the story. Yeah. Is, was that at all surprising to you when you first were looking at this to see how funny, how much humor I, is infused in this? I knew there was quite a bit of humor infused in it. And then with the great Elaine May yeah. playing Glass, how could there not be? <laughs> she has found in mind so many Talk, talk about her things. a little and working, and working with her. She's extraordinary. She's just completely extraordinary. She's so inspirational to me. I um, have admired her since I was in my 20s, you know, her comedy routines 
friends with Mike Nichols were kind of a standard thing that all my acting friends, we would I, listen to I them. saw you used to do some, some yes, of those lines for fundraising things. For fundraising back in. For Steppenwolf. And, yeah, and I would, yeah. you know, just copy her completely. And here you are on stage. And here I am looking in her eyes on stage every night. And her energy and her intelligence and her realness. She's so real. It's perfectly cast. You know, sometimes you walk in after yeah. a show and you say, oh, that one didn't really work. I wonder what, but we walked away from this saying, wow, I really yeah. nailed that. I think, I think the entire cast is very well suited for their roles. You know, it, it's, it's very powerful. It's, I heard somebody say, I can't take credit for it myself, talking about great art, great theater. They don't answer the questions for you, right. but, but they help you think about the questions. Yes. And I think certainly that's what happens. I think in so too. For this. Well, it, it's just it, it marvelously done. It's such a delight Thank to you. have you here. Thank you. Um, and, and good luck with this in the continued run. Thanks for spending some Thank time. Thank you, Jack. Us. Thank you so Thank much. You. My pleasure. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And reminder for you folks out there Waverly Gallery is now playing at the Golden Theater until January 27th. So for more information, please visit our website at metrofocus.org.